first battle of the evening. Give it up for the amazing Heather and Aaron! Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Have you guys decided who's going first? I can go first. Okay. Aaron's going first. They're going to go back and forth, and then we're going to decide to win it by the panel. You guys ready? Yeah. That's not good enough. Are you guys ready for a fucking roast battle right now? One, two, three! <laughs> Heather looks like a Fortnite skin of a lesbian. Ah, oh, buddy, look at us. We're doing it. You guys are probably thinking, like, oh, look at those two lesbians up there roasting each other. But joke's on you, because we love dick. That was told to you in confidence. <laughs> Heather was banned from Tinder. That says a lot when even Tinder is like, who invited you? That was told to you in confidence. <laughs> uh, Aaron's uh, what's referred to as a miracle baby. Um, because no matter how many times they tried, his parents just couldn't get the abortion to take. That was really hurtful. I know it was gonna be hurtful. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Heather's uncle died from alcoholism. Ha ha. But he actually didn't start drinking until after he molested her. It was, it was just so traumatizing for him. That was good. Sorry, yeah. That was no, that was good. That was, that was good. That yeah. was cool. Um, Aaron's. Uh, very much a mama's boy. Um, he loves his mother. He would do anything for her. In fact, he changed his nose ring to a stud because it kept getting caught in her pubes. <laughs> the stud would actually be more likely to get caught in her pubes. It just doesn't. He would know. We tried both. <laughs> <laughs> Heather played the French horn in high school. Or at least that's what they used to call it back then. <laughs> Blowjobs. That's what that's what oh, okay. That's what. All right. That's what that means. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I got a. I got a music one too. Um, Aaron, huge hip hop fan. Um, so obviously, whenever he found out about P Diddy drugging and having sex with men, he was devastated that he didn't upgrade that ticket to a meet and greet on the last tour. <laughs> Missed Opportunity. Yeah. It's called Missed Opportunity. You just got a fucking t-shirt. Are you kidding me? Very good. Uh, Heather looks like she runs a podcast about cat sexuality. <laughs> Meow, baby. It's called the Joe Rogan Experience. Um, Aaron's never actually been in love. Uh, but not for lack of trying. It's just uh, his idea of Netflix and chill is putting on Brokeback Mountain and asking his date to record him while he does squats in front of the TV. I said you could change the movie if you wanted to. That's okay. <laughs> so why it didn't work out. It's <laughs> funny to check my form. Uh, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Almost shushing. That's rude. Yeah. Almost That's shushing. Rude. Yeah, I, I told myself I wouldn't. Um, Heather thought about adopting a small Chinese boy, but decided instead to adopt his haircut. That's right. Nice thick hair, baby. 
Don't be jealous, five head. Come on now. Look, I, I know this is a roast, okay? But everybody's very attracted to, to Aaron. They're very drawn to him. So, all right, it's a roast, but like intelligent, articulate, handsome, funny, disarming. These are all words used to describe Ted Bundy. So you guys need to be careful out there. He clearly lifts the dead bodies that he's done with to get him in Lake Michigan, okay? <laughs> Old blonde Wayne Gacy. Last joke? Oh, okay. Heather was voted class clown because people couldn't believe she fit into her car. It was a small car. <laughs> An SUV. It's a small SUV. All right, uh, you know, Aaron got all buff, but what I love about him is that he didn't let it change him. I mean, like, I guess the only thing that's different is instead of filling himself full of creamy Twinkies on the couch, he lets a twink fill him full of cream behind the gym. <laughs> Oh, Brad Spitz over here. <laughs> All right, give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Yes. Oh. That was awesome. Two beautiful bleached assholes up here. <laughs> Delivering amazing comedy for you. That was a great way to start it off. I want to start it off first with the judging with Catherine. What did you think about what happened? Oh, I was so good. It was such a good battle. I, you guys are so strong, both of you. I love that you dress alike, too. <laughs> Heather and Aaron. Heather, um, Aaron, it looks like, like you look like Heather at the end of a like Queer Eye for the Straight Guy episode. <laughs> this is a before and after. Um, uh, you guys are so strong. Um, Heather, I love the stud joke was like my favorite of yours. It was so funny. I love comparing him to Ted Bundy. I would probably let him kill me. He's so hot. Uh, um, but I think I'm going to give it to Aaron. The, the fucking molest joke was just a next level. That was so fucking good. Okay, Aaron gets a vote. Hell yeah. Weird w w reason to vote for somebody, but um, <laughs> had a stroke there. I, 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 die, but make I know, I want him to fuck me and kill me too, but <laughs> we're both there. I think he touched my ass, I'm hard. So... Do you think if he touched your ass, it would already be bleached? What? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me this, but um, okay, Tyler, what did you think? Oh, uh, such a great start. So two people, so such a strong battle from two people I assume are terrible at stand up. So that was awesome. <laughs> really cool start. Uh, if you guys are here, who is molesting little girls at the Warp Tour? I mean, come on, come on. Uh, no, super strong. I, I, it was so close. You guys were neck and neck, which I love. I really don't want to give it to Aaron because I hate that his face looks like that. But uh, <laughs> between, between the molesting and the uh, clown car, Aaron wins it. That was great. Okay, Aaron with two. Yeah, give it up for him, Aaron with two. <laughs> yes, he will commit a murder later, but for right now, he has two. Oscar. All right, uh, I'm not letting him murder me, by the way. Uh, yeah, um, I think he started off pretty, pretty weak. Um, it was like that meme, you know, they almost had us in that first half, right? Uh, he came back strong, though. I feel like it was pretty even, but I feel like he had bigger punches. And um, I'm going to give it to Aaron. Okay, Aaron wins. Aaron wins the battle. Give it up for him. Also, I'd like to make a formal and public apology to Oscar for putting him on the whitest panel possible. <laughs> Vicious viciously Caucasian. I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> we were together, he was like, mm. I'm like, oh, whoops. Um, quite, anyway, yes. You didn't really? Okay, sorry, all right, my bad. All right, I did. Uh, all right, uh, thank you. Kevin, let's get a vote before you start burning crosses in people's front yards. Hey. He looks like that, though. I but. don't. Call ahead. Right. <laughs> uh, no, I really loved it. Give it up for Heather. Heather's a very new comic. That was great. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, there we go. You guys look like you both get, came off of your shift at the same restaurant. <laughs> you guys are just both very angry at rich women from Lincoln Park right now. That's what you... Uh, I really loved it, but that when, when he pulled out that clown car joke, I, I had it with Heather, but you pulled out the clown car joke, and I was just like, I can't come back from that. You know what I mean? This poor woman climbing out of her car in a high school parking lot. That's not fair. Uh, I went with Aaron. I was very close, though. So give it up for Heather. It was great. Yes. Great battle. Great battle. Final thoughts from Emma, though. What did you think? All right. Um, as it, badly as I... You, you know... <laughs> The clown joke and the molest joke were really good, man. They were really funny, bro. I, yeah, I got to give it to Aaron. Okay. Lots of room to think. Got to give it to Aaron. Give it up for him. Give it up for both of them. Thank you for starting off the show. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs>